observe the labels, the use case diagrams and the figure caption. Go back in the template editor perspective to add some modifications to the current template like setting the heading 1 to the use case diagram text. Under the use case diagrams we will extract the sequence diagrams in the same way. The structure of the elements should be the same, only the queries and the condition needed to verify the state of the extract sequence diagram variable should be different. You can add the main container and set the condition. After this, copy the rest of the elements and paste them inside the container. Modify the value of the text in Sequence Diagram and set the corresponding queries on each element. Save your work, generate the output again and take a look at the Word output document. As you can see, the sequence diagrams are not extracted. Go to the launcher perspective and set the on value for the extract sequence diagram external variable. Now the sequence diagram should be extracted in the output document. Verify also the table of contents and table of figures.
In the next section of the template, we will extract the information from the project packages. Insert a paragraph in the main container with projects project packages query. Inside, add a text element from the contextual menu and set its value to package. As this is a subtitle, we will set the corresponding heading for it. The package and the class extractions are not customizable, therefore the extraction will be executed each time the template is run. The extraction of the packages and classes will be performed recursively, since any package can contain other packages and every class can contain child classes. Under the static text package we will need another paragraph to hold the project's project packages package query. Inside insert a paragraph with a text element that will display the name of the package. The name attribute will be used to extract the name of the package. To display the name as a subtitle, format the text element using the heading style 2. Next, we will extract the classes. Add a paragraph to hold the projects, project packages, package classes, class query. This paragraph will contain the name of the class and a table element to display the information about the operations of each class. Set the style heading 3 for the text element. Drag and drop the operations query on a new paragraph. This paragraph will have a new subtitle and a table as we have said before. Set the operation static text for the subtitle element and set the bold property value to true. The shortcut for setting the bold property is Ctrl plus the B key. Add a table with two rows and five cells per row. The first row of the table element will be the table header. In each cell, insert a text element. For the text element of the first row, insert a static text representing the element which will be extracted in the second row. 
These are Label, Description, Implementation, Return Type and Visibility. Set the bold property values for the text elements to true. Set the project project packages package classes class operations query on the second row in order to gain access to the operations attributes. Using the operations attributes, extract the label, description text, implementation, return type on fly, and visibility attributes in the second row of the table element. Set the table out of it property to out of it to window value and the row once per table property to true. Save the template and run it again to see if the tables with operations information are extracted. Open the Word Output document. In the Output document, observe that the tables containing the operations are extracted. In the context of the class, under the class extraction, create another paragraph element and set the use case query from the class query.